Daily your dose <laughs> daily dose of hackathon post hackathon edition. That's what I wanted to say. As you could tell, my brain is still kind of recovering from not sleeping two days in a row. Uh, but I'm feeling better. I'm back in Lisbon, Portugal. I was in San Francisco just a few days ago, and it was a great event. Uh, unfortunately, there was a lot of um, dust in the air from all the the wild, um, the California fire, the deadliest, uh, the biggest fire in California history. So if you are watching this and you are from, from California, uh, I wish you well. I hope you guys are safe and sound. But yeah, anyways, uh, San Francisco was great. Um, met a lot of amazing people. Uh, saw a lot of amazing projects come out. We did not win, in case you have not heard. Uh, our team was Team Wings and our project was um, Mass. It was a tool for you to create decentralized markets. So maybe I'll go into deeper in that in another video but yes long story short we did not win we did not make the top 10 and that's the end of the hackathon journey for us unfortunately uh, if you not have not been following if you win in the top three in these past four hackathons you could go to the uh, last one in South Africa uh, my friend James will be going there uh, he was the winner in the London hackathon he was working on a project called ES Shield uh, amazing project for protecting your smart contract development uh, so he'll be going there and I wish him the best of luck if you're watching James uh, I wish you the best of luck uh, hopefully you enjoy your seven days in the hackathon and I hope you win the grand finale because you deserve it that was an amazing pitch you did in London so other than that uh, we met some folks from DOX uh, that was very cool they were there from South Korea uh, representing DOX. Uh, we might also have the launch of Lumia. So, sorry, my brain is again is kind of all scattered. Uh, get it? Scatter. By the way, James, fix scatter, please. Uh, <laughs> Lumia just launched a beta app um, that's coming up, and uh, some you know um, I guess I'm kind of fortunate that I haven't missed too many um, big stories other than uh, the hash wars, which was not even EOS related. But so if you don't know, uh, EOS, no, sorry, Bitcoin Cash is going to a hard fork and there's a lot of uh, infighting happening. They're talking about how they might, uh, there's two camps, the Bitcoin Cash ABC camp and the Bitcoin Cash uh, SV camp. SV standing for Satoshi's vision. And if that sounds familiar, it's backed by a guy called Craig Wright who claims to be Satoshi. So kind of interesting that he put his name why didn't he just say Craig Wright's vision if uh, he you know he is the Toshi <laughs> but anyways um, that is still happening um, it does have not yet been settled uh, and that's what they say this has been the cause of the recent market crash so if you don't know the entire market crypto market uh, showed about 20 billion or something 40 billion I think it was like 10-15% of the total uh, cryptocurrency market. So that was a big dump. Uh, yeah, so they say there's going to be a tax on the different forks. Uh, we are still waiting for the fallout from that. But it looks like Roger Veer with from BTC.com is going to bring over his mining power from uh, in collaboration with Bitmain. It's going to back the Bitcoin Cash ABC implementation. So Craig Wright will be, uh, Craig Wright's chain will be uh, the minority chain and thus giving Bitcoin ABC, Bitcoin Cash ABC the upper hand in claiming the Bitcoin Cash. So all this is getting very, very confusing. I know uh, all these namings and stuff. Uh, in the midst of all that, I posted this lovely little uh, GIF <laughs> about how we as uh, EOS community kind of sitting on the sidelines and watching what's going on. Even though our our cryptocurrency has suffered as a result, you know we have been warning people about the danger of the centralization. 
of mining power. Uh, so we are seeing this playing out in real time. So it is kind of uh, entertaining. And this is the probably the best Reddit post I have done on EOS. Um, not including the many hours I've spent on my other videos. Anyways, that aside, um, yeah, I am still recovering. I'm still getting back into the schedule. Uh, hopefully, I didn't miss anything that's super, super important. Um, I will be continuing a daily dose of EOS in the coming days. Don't you worry. Uh, again, I'll be doing uh, pre-shows uh, from Monday to Saturday uh, at 11, 11 a.m. Lisbon time. So that would be 6 a.m. New York time. <coughs> Excuse me. If you want to join me then and you want to leave a story that you'll be interested in hearing about, um, hearing me covered, Please do so in the description, I mean in the comments, uh, either on YouTube or Reddit. I am going to be live streaming, uh, maybe sometime today. So you could catch me on Twitch as Jack Wells. And I've opened up a Telegram channel with help my friends. So that you could comment even if you don't have a Twitch account. Uh, so that's pretty much everything for today. Uh, hopefully we have a regular schedule. Regular episode tomorrow where I'll be able to cover more EOS news for you. That's that, and I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye. Leave a like and subscribe. Catch you later.